where the fear of another Great Depression looms over the country, it seems like there are two appropriate ways to commemorate Repeal Day, Repeal of Prohibition Day. Bottoms up, here's how, cheers, have a cocktail. And number two, make some time to think hard about the whole big dumb idea of legislating morality. Okay, there's a new liberal in town, and her name is Rachel Maddow. She's got her very own TV show, and she's taking no prisoners. Please welcome Rachel Maddow. Yeah. Rachel, before we get into the issues and all that other stuff, I read that you said, I am not, quote, unquote, I am not a TV anchor babe. I'm a big lesbian who looks like a man, <laughs> unquote. <laughs> and you're a tall lesbian also. I'm enormous. Stand yeah, up and I'm show tall. everybody how tall you are. Okay. How did you end up with the TV show? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm smart. Well, I started in talk radio. Well, I started in local morning drive radio, and then I went to Air America when Air America started. And then they asked me to do guest spots on cable news, and ultimately Keith Olbermann asked me to fill in for him while he was on vacation, and it apparently worked. What do, you, so. what, what do you think about the whole Rush Limbaugh Obama challenge for a debate? What's your take on that? What do you think I think? Uh, well, I guess, uh, <laughs> you heard what I thought. I, I, I think that Rush is, uh, is very successful and very smart. Yeah. And the idea that the president would actually debate him is hilarious. It is. Yeah. The, I mean, the idea that I, like, I would ask somebody from the Republican Party to debate me, demand that they debate me, of course that would be great for me, but it would be stupid for any politician. Yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, the yeah. politicians yeah. don't want to yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 They Wait. definitely don't. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, I, you, you and your partner, Susan, you guys have been together 10 years. 10 years in and April. That's you right. said uh, it was love at first sight. How did you meet? It's a little embarrassing. Um, sh I was working on my dissertation at the time, and I was doing odd jobs, mm -hmm. uh, including, like, you know, I'll dig stuff up in the yard. <laughs> and I was a really unskilled landscaper, so she hired me to work on her yard. And I showed up, and she opened the door, and it was like comets and, you know, uh, shooting the stars. And it was thing, huh? it was a very good <laughs> Sort of a gay, Dude, desperate housewives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> might have been the pool girl. Might have been the pool girl, but she's the gardener. You have been know. from day one very open about being a lesbian. There yeah. are other people who are not. I wondered when you began, or even now on MSNBC, did, was there any doubt about it? Did you get any hate letters, or is it now finally irrelevant? Yeah. I, I definitely get hate mail, but I have ever since I've, I, I started doing radio uh, in like 2000, so it's been about, um, I guess, nine years that I've been sort of in the public eye and broadcasting. Mm -hmm. I always get hate mail, and actually a lot of the hate mail that I get mentions the fact that I am gay, but the proportion of that has stayed very constant over time. Mm -hmm. In terms of MSNBC and the way they've treated me within the industry, I don't know if anything's happened behind my back, but to my face, everybody's been very kind. No, I think yeah. you, you have a tremendous amount of respect from people, even professionally, you do an exceptional job. Job. Thank you. When you you, you just coming from her. Yeah, no, I mean, look, I, I respect both sides. She's yeah. good. She's good. No, I think it's a, important to recognize people who do a great job on both sides of issues. Um, in terms of your parents, you've described them as conservative. So during the time when you had to come out to them, was that? What was that like? How did they react? And how they, did, they, they did not react well. Yeah. I also came out in a really obnoxious way. I was 17. Uh, how did you do it? I was, this was bad. I was really, you know, you're 17. I thought that I knew everything and I was, you know, <laughs> nobody could tell me anything. And so I came out at college by putting up um, like a letter to everybody in my freshman dorm in the bathroom stalls because I figured out <laughs> everybody would have to see it at least one, uh, you know, one point it. during the day. You had told your parents first? You told no, them, that's oh, the problem. Girl. That's how stupid I was. Yeah, and so, of course, they didn't, we didn't have YouTube and so on where right. you could just right. But Twitter, they didn't live yeah. that far away. Twitter. So they Twitter. had to find yeah. out from everybody else. Well, that. I was on my way home that weekend to tell them because I realized as soon as I did it, that was dumb to not tell mom and dad. Uh, and then somebody anonymously mailed my parents a letter. So your parents had no Clue? Uh, they're smart people. I'm not, <laughs> I can't say they had no clue. I mean, I am who I am. You know? else, what did they do? Yeah. But they were they were they were upset. But you know, they're great now. And did so they say it was, we thought you were a tomboy? I was such a tomboy. I mean, I, when I was a kid, I had long blonde hair. My hair was Me like. Too. <laughs> to come out of the closet. <laughs> Please, that door's been open for years. <laughs> Because I, I have a question for you after you finish. I was just going to say, I had long blonde hair, but even as a little girl with long blonde yeah. hair, I didn't look, I looked like one of the Hanson boys. <laughs> like, there was still like, you know, I just, I am who I am. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. So, 
you come to television, did they do the thing that they do when you come to television? They say, well, let's see, what can we do with you? <laughs> can we put some makeup on Eyeshadow, you? Yes. Did they try Brushes, to... Extensions. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> what would I do? What, how do, what do they I extend like from? How do they attack? <laughs> what do, a little bit of hair. They I just tie it up. Glue it on. You know the one it? that comes from here? <laughs> they, you got one of those on your hair. <laughs> and they wrap hair around and then... Pfft, Look. Yes. <laughs> and you, you too. You too could look like a Sharpe. <laughs> I uh, well, the, the, in terms of like wearing makeup to be on television, when we were showing that clip, you were like, "What is that eyeshadow?" I assume that it is. I go into the makeup room, I sit down, and I close my eyes, and then when they are done, I get up and I walk onto the set. I pay no attention to what they do. Yeah. Can we talk they, about what you say because we're having sure. all of this faith in Obama and all the money spent, and we right. don't know where we're going, and are we, you know, about to fall? off the hill. What do you, how do you think things are going? I think that we are in a pickle as a country. Well, I think you, okay. I, I think that the economic crisis right now is so much bigger than any of us can grasp. Mm -hmm. And I think that we need somebody with big ideas who's willing to take big action. Do you do think, think we have that person? I, I do. Okay. I think the budget's a good budget. I think the stimulus plan is a good stimulus plan. I think that we're, I think that you, I think we need to think big. Do you think, you know, the last polls that came out had Barack Obama close to what, 68% in approval yeah. ratings, yeah. but Nancy Pelosi at I think 37. So like why, why wouldn't those two things line up? What do you think the problem is? For a member there? of Congress, that's actually pretty sky yeah, high. Yeah. I mean, Congress. It's been down to like 14. The, yeah. the polls, they're always hated. I mean, what I think is really interesting in the polls right now is that if you ask the American people, who do you trust in the economy, the Republicans or the Democrats, the Democrats have like a 30-point lead, a 35-point mm -hmm. lead, 28-point mm -hmm. lead. Yeah. I mean, the Republicans need to figure out what their message is, even just on the economy. They need if someone to deliver well, it. Well, but what is it if they are going to deliver it? I don't think that it. it's is that it they're Rush not Limbaugh? saying it well. I think they've got bad ideas, is and it's Rush not working. Limbaugh? Well, I, don't, I mean, guys like Steve That's Pence, who is a member okay. of Congress, mm -hmm. sure. his idea is spending freeze. John McCain during the campaign, spending freeze. Spending freeze is what made the depression great. Spending freeze is a bad idea. Um, I don't think it's I that think it was the message. excessive fr spending, though. There was really, I mean, if you look at the original stimulus, stimulus plan that went out, there was a ton, ton of pork that was in there. So much excessive spending that even the they Democrats it, admitted and said, you know what, let's cut it out. Well, Why was it in there to begin with? It, it ended up being. That was a little indulgent. But the stimulus bill ended up being roughly 95% of what the president proposed in the first place. Mm, okay. And so I, I think that the idea of stimulus is spending and a spending freeze is a really bad idea it's we not just run. selling unfortunately it's that's a bad idea we yeah. gotta go you're terrific yeah. thanks, thanks, thanks. so <laughs> come back uh, yes. with your extensions or not <laughs> right. the rachel matter show airs weeknights check your local listings we will be right back <laughs>